Hello friends, have you ever played a maze like this one or even this one before? Today we are going to trap Scratch Cat in a maze and let's see if it's able to get out. First, we are going to draw our own maze. Choose backdrops, click backdrops again. Now the backdrop is empty. I want to have a red color edge around the maze. So I'm going to choose size 8, change color to red color. Choose square. Going to draw the edge. So we can drag in here to make sure on the right side we can see the edges. Now we can draw some lines inside the maze. It's up to you how you want your maze to look like. I'm going to choose black color. So choose line and choose black color. If you want your lines to be horizontal or vertical, make sure you press and hold shift when you draw the line. At the bottom right corner, I want this to be the exit of the maze. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to fill the rectangle with green color because it's the exit. I don't want any outline. Draw a rectangle and I want to write the word exit with red color. Okay, so adjust it to be in the middle. Okay, so that is our first maze. If some lines are not connected nicely, you can choose select and just move the lines a bit. Now I'm going to duplicate this backdrop one, then we have backdrop two. But of course, backdrop two, we want to have more lines to make it more challenging. So let's add more lines. Make sure it's still black color. And I'm going to add more lines. Okay, so now I think backdrop two is ready as well. See, our cat is too big to go through the mid. So let's change the cat size to 30. Okay, now we are ready to write the code. Let's go to code. How do we make the cat move? We can use the arrow keys. So I'll go to events. When up arrow key is pressed, I want the cat to go up. If you want the cat to go up, you can look at the direction is zero. So I'm going to point in direction zero. Move 10 steps. And remember, cat has two costumes. So I'm going to use the next costume. Similarly, let's duplicate this. When user press a down arrow, the direction will be 180 degrees. So you can change to 180. Duplicate again. When user press the right arrow, Let's see, the right arrow is 90 degrees. So I'll point in direction 90 degrees. Duplicate and the last key is for left arrow. Left arrow, we need to point in direction minus 90 degrees. So minus 90. If I look at the cat, it goes upside down. So we need to change here. Choose this one. That means the cat can only turn left and right. It won't go upside down. Okay, now let's try if our cat can move. I'm going to press the keys up, down, left, right. Okay, nice. The cat is able to move. What else do we need to do? When we start the game, the cat should start from the starting location and we should use backdrop one. So let's go to events. When green flag clicked, I'll make the cat Go to, let's find a nice location. Maybe I will do here. Okay, so we can change it to zero minus 220. It will start this location. So minus 220 and zero. And we need to use backdrop one. Switch backdrop to backdrop one. When the cat moves, if it bumps to the lines, it should bounce back and say something like, ouch. So let's have a forever loop. 
We will put an if. Go to sensing, touching color. Now click the color. Use a drop to choose the black color. So if I touch the black color, I need to move back, bounce back. So go to motion, move, minus 10 steps. And I want to play a sound. So let's go to sound, play some sound, but of course not meow. Let's go to sounds. I'm going to choose some other sounds. Okay, I already choose it. It's this sound. Sounds like the cat bumped to something. So we will play sound, bunk, until done. I also want the cat to say something. The cat will say, ouch, for maybe one second. Okay, let's try. Let's make the cat bump to something. Ouch. Ouch. Looks nice. The other thing we need to take care of is when the cat reach the exit. If it is backdrop one, we will switch to backdrop two. If it's backdrop two, game over. So let's go to events. When green flag clicked, I'll do this forever. If go to sensing, touching color. Use the drop to pick this green color. If I'm touching the green color, I'm going to check which backdrop I'm using now. Go to control. If else, operations equal to go to looks, choose down below backdrop number. If backdrop number is one, that means we need to switch to backdrop two. So I will wait for one second. I'll make the cat go back to a starting location. I will switch backdrop to backdrop two. Else, meaning we are already the last step, backdrop two, I'm going to say, I did it. And we're going to play some sound. Play sound. Of course, we want a different sound. Go to sounds. Choose win. Okay, so I'll choose this sound. Go back to codes. Play sound. Win until done. Now let's play the game. Be careful. Ouch. We will make the cat reach the exit and we'll see if backdrop is switched to backdrop two. Nice. Now we are at backdrop two. We will control the cat, but this time more carefully because it's so narrow here. Ouch. Oh, just nice. Let's come here. I'm going to reach the exit. Okay, nice. So our cat is able to escape from the maze. 